Baruch Haba, and welcome back to another Torah portion reading. This one is called Nitzavim, which means stand, and it's the plural. This Yod Mem here makes it plural. And our reading is going to be Deuteronomy 29, verse 10 through 30, verse 20. We're almost at the end of Deuteronomy, and I hate that because Deuteronomy is one of my favorites. But let's begin. Deuteronomy 29, verse 10. All of you stand today before Yahovah Elohechem. Elohechem means the plural, your God. And Elohecha, remember, means the singular, as in you in the mirror. All of you stand today before Yahovah Elohechem, your leaders and your tribes, and your elders and your officers, all the men of Israel, your little ones and your wives, also the stranger who is in your camp, from the one who cuts your wood to the one who draws your water, that you may enter into covenant with Yahovah Elohecha and into his oath, which Yahovah Elohecha makes with you today, that he may establish you today as a people for himself and that he may be Elohim to you, just as he has spoken to you, and just as he has sworn to your fathers, to Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. I make this covenant with this and this oath, not with you alone, but with him who stands here with us today, before Yahovah Eloheinu Alephantav, as well as with him who is not here with us today. For you know, Aleph and Tav, that we dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim, Aleph and Tav, and that we came through the nations which you passed by, and you saw their abominations and Aleph and Tav, their idols which were among them, wood and stone and silver and gold, so that there may not be among you man or woman or family or tribe whose heart turns away today from Yahovah Eloheinu to go and serve the gods of these nations, and that there may not be among you a root bearing bitterness or wormwood. And so it may not happen, when he hears the words of this curse, that he blesses himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace even though I follow the dictates of my heart, as though the drunkard could be included with the sober. Yahovah would not spare him, for then the anger of Yahovah and his jealousy would burn against that man, and every curse that is written in this book would settle on him, and Yahovah would blot out his name from under heaven, and Yahovah would separate him from all the tribes of Israel for adversity according to all the curses of the covenant that are written, written in this book of the Torah, so that the coming generation of your children who rise up after you and the foreigner who comes from a far land would say, when they see the plagues of that land and the sickness which Yahuwah has laid on it, the whole land is brimstone, salt, and burning. It is not sown, nor does it bear nor does any grass grow there, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboim, which Yahovah overthrew in his anger and his wrath. All nations would say, Why has Yahovah done so to this land? What does the heat of this great anger mean? Then they would say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of Yahovah Elohai of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim. For they went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods that they did not know and that he had not given to them. Then the anger of Yahovah was aroused against this land, 
to bring on it every curse that is written in this book. And Yahweh uprooted them from their land in anger, in wrath, and in great indignation, and cast them into another land as it is this day. The secrets, uh, the secrets are to Yahovah Eloheinu, and those revealed are to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this Torah. Jot and a tittle. Chapter 30 Now it shall come to pass when all these things come upon you, the blessing and the curse which I have said before you, and you call to mind among all the nations where Yahovah Elohecha drives you, and you return to Yahovah Elohecha and obey his voice according to all that I command you today, you and your children, with all your heart and with all your soul, that Yahovah Elohecha will bring you back from captivity and have compassion on you and gather you again from all the nations where Yahovah Elohecha has scattered you. If any of you are driven out to the furthest parts under heaven, from there Yahovah Elohecha will gather you, and from there he will bring you. Then Yahovah Elohecha will bring you to the land which your fathers possessed, and you shall possess it. He will prosper you and multiply you more than your fathers. And Yahovah Elohecha will circumcise your heart and the heart of your descendants to love Yahovah Elohecha with all your heart and with all your soul that you may live. Also Yahovah Elohecha Aleph and Tav will put all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate you, who persecuted you, and you will again obey the voice of Yahovah and do all his commandments which I command you today. Yahovah Elohecha will make you abound in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and in the produce of your land for good. For Yahovah will again rejoice over you for good, as he rejoiced over your fathers, if you obey the voice of Yahovah Elohecha to keep his commandments and his statutes which are writ written in this book of the Torah. And if you turn to Yahovah Elohecha with all your heart and with all your soul. For this commandment which I command you today is not too marvelous for you, nor is it far off. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who will ascend into heaven for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it? Nor is it beyond the sea that you should say, who will go over the sea that you sh uh, for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that you may do it. See, I have said before you today, life and good, death and evil, and that I command you today to love Yahovah Elohecha, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, his statutes, and his judgments, that you may live and multiply. And Yahovah Elohecha will bless you in the land which you go to possess. But if your heart turns away so that you do not hear, and are drawn away, and worship other gods and serve them, I announce to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not prolong your days in the land which you cross over the Jordan to go in and possess. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both you and your descendants may live, that you may love Yahovah Elohecha, that you may obey his voice, and that you may cling to him, 
for he is your life and the length of your days, and that you may dwell in the land which Yahovah swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, to give them. Thank you for joining me for this Torah portion reading. The Hof Torah portion is Isaiah 61 verse 10 through 63 verse 9. And may you have a blessed week. Shavuot Tov and Lahitraot. See you later.